What the actual fuck? Seriously, what the actual fuck am I looking at? For a start, Final Fantasy XV obviously has actually been advertised heavily on YouTube, on mobile apps, on nearly everything for this New Empire RTS-style tower defense game. I'm, like, I, I know as little about this as like, humanly possible. It's, it's, it's something that's actually, the more I would learn about it, the less likely I would ever be to go back and finish Final Fantasy XV here on the channel. But uh, for an advertisement for its release, Amazon are doing an offer where if you're... If your first purchase in the Amazon App Store is a £75 purchase or more of in-game currency, then you will be eligible for a £50 cashback. So essentially they're saying, spend 25 here, then spend 50 anywhere else that you want. You get 75 quid's worth of currency in this game. 75 quid? Fucking hell! If they're actually like if 75 quid's worth of in-game currency is worth giving 50 quid back of. What kind of grinding monstrosity is this fucking game? I think they can actually buy that much of a boost. And 75 quid just for the fact that... Uh, they, this, right, Final Fantasy 15 with its season pass didn't cost 75 quid. Was it 49 plus 20, 60? No, no. Final Fantasy 15... With its season pass on any device, as far as I know, can't think of any ones that would actually be more expensive, unless you're buying collector's editions. Um, Non-physical, digital anyway, nowhere near that price. And you want people to spend 75 quid on a mobile phone spin-off app game that was related to it? Fuck right off. This is actually... This, this is no longer micro-transactions. This is just a transaction. A transaction with very, very specific terms and conditions. Like, I did, I, before I actually, like, went to start arguing or shouting about this, it did kind of, like, I wanted to make sure, like, am I I'm not reading this right? Do I understand what it's saying? And it's actually worse than I thought it was, just for the fact that it's actually, like, it has to be your first purchase on the App Store to be qualified for it. And it'll be at their own discretion whether or not you're a new customer. I'm like, oh, that's pretty fucking cheeky. It's just the fact that... Is this actually like to bring maybe a generation of young people who have been playing Final Fantasy XV who have never used an Amazon store before to join in? It seems to be such an oddly, oddly specific cross-promotional thing. And I don't even think this actually, Final Fantasy XV is just the flavor of the month that happens to be like, this is a big enough game that we can promote it on the back of this. It could be goddamn Flappy Birds 2 and it wouldn't really matter. It's just the fact that they were doing this advertisement. Possibly for the Amazon coins? Is that what they're trying to make money from? I just, oh. I'm just, I'm, re I'm perturbed by this whole thing. New customers get a promotional reward of £50 to be used on Amazon.co.uk when purchasing any in game item priced above £75. It must be your first ever purchase in. So, is it specifically the Amazon App Store that it has to be your first purchase? Or does it have to be specifically your first purchase on Final Fantasy XV and New Empire? And that's fucking terrifying. They want that to be your first purchase on this game for their numbers, I imagine. Where they're just going to go, let's artificially inflate the fuck out of this and make it the number one mobile game on the Amazon App Store. This is... Oh, oh mobile strategy game developed by Machine Zone. See, I'm going to need to go. I need to look up the machine zone now. I need to find out who these people are. Oh. Just reading through the joint. Um, blah, 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 blah. Jesus. Jesus! I'm perturbed by this so bad. I, I just don't have the words to actually explain what is annoying. Okay, so. Games that have transactions and DLC. I'm not a, I don't have a problem with DLC in general. What the hell just happened there? Don't you dare sully the actual THQ Nordic PlayStation bundle. Get the fuck out of my face. Yeah, that's more like it. It's the cheek of it. <laughs> Alright, I'm not offended by DLC in games. I really am not. I've never, I've never had a problem with additional content being made. Now, the feeling that you get with some games is that it, it feels like something that was there has been chopped out from a game especially if it was like part of the larger plan for a game and kind of like well why didn't he have and yeah i know he might not have had funding for another four months of development 
But at the same time is, this amount of money is not going to fund four months of development if this game is actually going to be crap because the game's going to fail miserably. And the idea of season passes pre-paying for stuff that hasn't come out yet with the intention of like letting them get more lead time to do it. I, I've, I've, I've just had a natural, had a natural problem with that idea of paying for nothing. Paying for the prospect of something. Even whenever it comes to Kickstarter and stuff, I find it very, very difficult. And that's my personal feeling about a purchase. Whenever you purchase something, I'm not, uh, uh, that, whenever you're purchasing someone is different from being a patron of someone. Being a patron of someone actually ha- lies with a stipulation that you're going like, you might never ever see this. But with these companies, they want you to purchase it for the purpose of going like, yes, you will receive these things. These things will arrive. Especially with larger companies that are actually doing it as DLC content. They were going to make the DLC content anyway. They really were. And then you can buy it as a package deal whenever it comes out a year and a half later. Essentially, what you're doing is taxing yourself for being an early adopter, and that's that, that's part and parcel of early adoption of technology. Now, in the case of software, software is technology, but to actually have massive promotions like this to increase the sale of in-game currency, it tickles me the wrong, wrong way. Do you know? Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take a look at Final Fantasy 15. A new empire in the context of its of a mobile release at least it's listed here so we can actually see what actually goes along with it where does it show in the store where there is actually um pricing for the stuff that's inside this no it doesn't it really doesn't tell <laughs> very expensive game that requires money to progress you can spend hundreds and be wiped out in minutes save your money <laughs> god Another game that is only fun if you spend mega bucks. Otherwise, the ones spending just farm you and bully you for if you complain about the game of skills. <laughs> God, uh, a new cash cow. Yeah, pay for advertising going on with this overhyped game. Uh, to download and install. Okay, but that your game is just didn't uh, keep me interested. Okay. First top three messages is that it's a cash cow game. It's a cash cow game. They, 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 people know it's a cash cow game and they're doing this promotion. Don't do this. Don't sell off your properties like that, Square Enix. It's Epic Action LLC and Machine. What was it? Epic Action LLC and Machine something or other was actually the name of the two companies that were involved. Yes, Machine Zone. I, I, I don't have words for it anymore. I just, I just don't. I just, I just, if you want to know more about this, I'm sure somebody is going to actually be making more video, more detailed video than I have. Mine's just been a reaction to this. Jim Quisition might have a word about it, but this, this, this is, this is an example of the cancer eating at gaming. I don't want to be hyperbolic about it, but this isn't a good way of doing business. It just doesn't. Like I, I'm outraged. If you have, if you, if you're causing outrage and somebody, like I don't get outraged about gaming news otherwise. But if you're getting, if I'm getting outraged about this, it's it's it 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 it's beyond like the the moral compass line a little bit. If you if you have your own opinions about this game and have your own opinions about this deal that they're doing, which is seventy five pounds worth of expenditure or fifty pounds worth. Of- like, if it was 75 to 75, I'd even understand. They're still charging you 25 quid for a mobile game. Jesus! And every single comment under, like, well, the first top couple of comments are that this game is awful for being a cash cow. All right, if you have got any, if you got any anecdotes about this game from yourselves playing it, I'm sure it's been around in some regions before now. Um, if you have any stories about games like this, or you have just an hour, you have your own personal rant about the fact mobile gaming has turned into this, then feel free to comment below because dear God, what the actual fuck? I'll see you guys next time.